Plaza Tower School principal Amy Simpson spoke with myself and the Oklahoma's Jenny Carlson today, her first media interview since the tornado that hit Plaza Tower earlier this week. She walked us through that day leading up to the tornado, during the actual storm, where the kids were, what the priorities were, the protocols that were followed, and then some of the stories and memories that she's having here today at Eastlake Elementary as the parents and kids reunited with their teachers today. It's been wonderful. We needed it. The kids are being kids. They bounce back so easily, so it's been wonderful with having all of them and seeing their faces. Um, so many were checked out that day, and when you get checked out and go to a home without a shelter in this kind of tornado, I didn't know about them either, so I was thankful for the count that the MA's office was able to give us and then to see them today. I was actually in an interview, interviewing for a pre-K spot, and heard the thunder, so, you know, in the distance, and I just told her we probably should wrap up. And when I walked out, um, there was a line of parents, which isn't unusual during a thunderstorm. A lot of them want to grab their kiddos and just be at home so they don't have to pick up in the rain and so forth. So um, as word got out and Miss Pierce had sent out an email, um, that's when I told parents, you don't have to check your kid out. I met them at every one of them at the door, front door, and just asked him what grade and told them where they were. We were in procedures at the time. Um, a lot of them scared and panicked, so I calmed them down because I didn't want them to scare my kids. Just told them, stay, stay calm. And they were telling me, there's a tornado. And I was like, I know that. That's why we're in procedures. Please stay calm. So a lot of them took them. And then a lot of them had to take shelter with us. There were several parents with us in the bathrooms and in the hallways. After I was in the bathroom with five other late, four other ladies, and I got out, and they kept asking me, where are you going? I was like, I have to get out. I, I hear the kids. We got to get out of here. Um, was able to crack the door open and really had to step up to get out because the rubble was that high. Came around the corner to a bumper in my face, car in the, in the um, office, then just started yelling at people to help me get down. Um, went around to pre-K, started helping get kids out of there, first grade. Um, then started, asked everybody to start gathering on um, up front. Some that were in the hallways um, did just start squeezing into the bathrooms tighter because the, the walls were coming down. Um, I believe they would have been safe either way. The, um, the procedures are there for a purpose and that's why we followed them. And as I was walking up and down the hallways before, just moments before I was, they were patting kids on the back and loving on them and there was, it wasn't totally calm but it was as calm as it could be. There was some crying, but a lot of comfort going on mm -hmm. from both the kids to each other and then to the teachers to kids. By the time the tornado came through, there were probably nine to 11 kids left in each classroom. So uh, procedures are to be in the hallway and to squish together as tightly as possible. And then some, some are in the hall, some are in the bathroom. And just based on the size of the bathroom, you can't get every, you can't to get 200 in this side and 200 on the other side. So in the front office, in the front building, they were to the west of us and to the east of us. The babies, the little ones, pre-K through uh, first grade, were on the west, and fourth, fifth, and sixth were on uh, the east, and hallways and bathrooms. Um, it's my understanding um, from one of my teachers that they got in a closet too. A custodial closet or actually the printer closet it's where that we keep the printer and some science equipment so um, but the the practice procedure they did exactly what it was you go to your designated spot and that's where you stay everybody did exactly what they're supposed to be doing I guess really the other thing that you need to know is that as soon as we were all coming out from the rubble you could just see adults, men, women, grandparents, 
running, not having kids there. But, I mean, just with the forethought that some of them had gloves in their hands, other had big crowbars, they just, just the thought that they heard it or saw it happen, I don't know which, they just started running in. And there were so many there to help get out, get people out. And that was, that was wonderful. I told my staff that it had to be from God because I don't have that, um, kind of forcefulness that I had that day. Um, and they know that. I told them the other day I'm more passive aggressive than I am aggressive. <laughs> I think I get that from my dad. But from, from God and my husband sending me the text right before it's going to hit you, that, that made me want to make it through for my babies too.